there. Um, today I'm working on a project um, for a swap in a Facebook group and I figured I'd show you um, what I'm doing. I am going to be um, adding fabric to um, make a background for um, my tag. Um, it's kind of like a textured background um, and I just want to kind of show you my process. So um, first thing I do is, is have um, your tag. Um, I use, um, I purchased this uh, tag pad at um, Hobby Lobby and um, these tags are three and a half by eight and a half. Um, you can always cut them down as far as length, but, um, but it's a good width, especially for um, mixed media projects, okay? All right, so you're gonna start with one of these tags and I've already ripped this out. And because um, it is a um, kind of a textured background by itself, the paper, um, and it's, it's a pretty good thickness, but I want to make it just a tad more thicker because of the fabric being added, which will make it quite heavy. So just want to give a little bit more stability. So what I want to do is I um, applied a few layers of gesso, and that does help thicken, um, thicken it. But again, this is just what I prefer to do. So um, I'm going to be working on this here. But um, so I'm going to set that aside. All right, so what you're going to do is um, use Mod Podge or Decoupage. Um, kind of adhesive. Um, I'm using um, a, a handmade uh, Mod Podge that I've made. So you want to use fabric. Um, you can use thicker, thinner, like a cotton um, type fabric. I, I like a cotton more. It's more easy to work with. Um, but again, it's preference. Um, so the fabric that I have today, um, I went ahead and cut it into just random pieces, squares, rectangles, really doesn't matter. Um, I just like working with smaller pieces because it's easier to maneuver um, on here versus just lay a sheet down and then try to scrunch it or try to, try to, you know, decorate with it. So, all right, so let's get started. I'm going to apply um, in a spot that I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start here at the top and work my way down. Um, so I'm just gonna apply some adhesive, my Maj Paj. A good amount because you want it to be able to maneuver around. You want to make sure your fabric is well coated once you apply this because you want, I want it to stiffen and stay where I put it. So I'm going to lay it down here and I'm going to lay some of this over it. And then I'm going to start working it, scrunching it how I want it. And this is just what I wanted to do for this specific project. Maybe I just leave, leave it flat, but I want to kind of maneuver it around a little bit. Give it some, some fun to the background. All right. And again, I just want to make sure it's nice and coated. Once it dries, I want it to be stiff and stay exactly where I put it. In here. All right. Now the corners of, of the end of the fabric, I'm going to make sure those are coated good. I like to kind of tuck, just barely tuck the corner under, just so there's not any straight edges. All the way around. All right. So it looks something like this. See that good there? Okay. All right, and I'm gonna start with my next piece here. Again, I'm gonna apply a good amount there and I'm gonna overlap the edges just a little bit. Skin your piece here. somewhere in there. Oop. Sticking it over. And I'm going to coat it. And I'm just going to start scrunching it. Now right here where my this fabric has overlapped this one, you'll see I have a straight line. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to curl it under so it will look like all one piece. Kind of just 
curl it under. And then I'm going to scrunch it right in there. There you go. And also, working with smaller pieces like this, when you run in, if you were just to lay one big piece and scrunch it, you end up with higher um, little scrunches, higher and some lower. But it's, again, it's easier to work and maneuver smaller pieces. And I could even go smaller than this, but this is fine right here. String out of there. Little frayed edges of the edge of the fabric. Get rid of that. Okay. Curl it and kind of stick it down a little bit. And I'm scrunching these um, for my Pacific project a lot closer. Some projects you can scrunch just a little bit, you know, more or less. You know, to give your the look that you're going for. Again, it's your art, however you want to create it. Just kind of showing you something that I'm doing today. Make sure it's coated all the way to the edges. And I am just going over, so when I'm done, I'll go and um, cut the edges off. Um, or if you're decorating the back as well, you can tuck them around and complete the process on the back. Alright. Okay, so a good amount of glue there. Put it right in there. Coat it. Tucking these edges in. Go. Again, you want your fabric coated really well so it will stiffen once it's dry. This right here just shows exactly why working with smaller pieces works. I had where this piece and this piece and this piece all came together right there in the center. It was showing the paper through so then I can move it and kind of wiggle it through so it does look like all one piece. So I'm just kind of working that around. All right, so that's kind of a general idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up here. And um, I think you kind of get the idea of it. So give me just a second and I'll be right back with it all finished. All right guys, I have completely covered my tag with the fabric. And so the next thing I wanna do is kind of go through and make sure everything um, is covered. And I'm also going to kind of do my edges as well. When I do my edges, I'm just gonna kind of glued down, kind of so it fades down to the center there, or to the edge, I mean, all the way around. And also, I want to make sure that um, any pieces that are need to be poked down, I'm just going to kind of do this with my brush here and kind of put down in spots that I want to be down so they're not sticking up. This helps get any air bubbles from underneath out. Kind of crush that. There we go. There we go. All right. Around the edges on this side. There we go. All right. I think I'm good there. Down. All right, so this is what you have for the finished part of this step, okay? All right, I'm going to set this aside here. Go. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, dry this, 
and um, it's going to take a little bit to dry so I don't want to have to let it video go as you watch me dry this but all I'm going to do is um, I use a hair dryer you can use a, um, a heating tool but you want to make sure it's completely dry so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back alright I'm back and my tag is all dry so the next thing you want to want to do is you're going to cut off all your edges so if you flip it over you can use your tag as a guide and I'm just going to cut this off right on the edge 